we're pulling we're pulling our we're pulling out of the circuit by connect so, by connecting to the main the mainframe. I don't know. It's, it's about life. Like I mean, Mark Braun said that we gotta go to the holy hole, and you can drink from the living waters that are there, blood red waters at at, and you can come back and play in the kingdom. Yeah, it's the fountain of youth, and it will give you circuit and plugging it into the biblical cord. Or then, yeah, then you can the you living can souls can go through the hole. That's what I understand. What's that? The living waters are at the center. It's Mother Earth's holy hole. It's like, it's like a vagina hole of Mother Earth. In your mother's womb, she's a holy hole. That's how it works. There's a hole at the center. Right. Yeah, because every this light hole, hole, every light hole has a, tree there. every light hole has a black hole on loop. Like it's our birthright to get here. Right. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've okay. had Satan come in. What What's is. blood? It's blood in, blood out. Like you were birthed in from blood and water. If you die, your soul if your soul's ejected from your body, like if you experience a physical death. If your like if your body ceases to function where your heart stops beating and you no longer have an electrical current, like your soul is no longer fused to the physical, your body will go to rot. And your soul will be like, it will compress from your crown, from your root back to an orb. You'll become an etheric orb, like showing you in the Pac-Man moon. Pac-Man's always chomping on the orbs and the ghosts. They're showing you the little dots. Pac-Man are the souls. Chomp, chomp, yeah, totally chomp. And that's a soul. And it's like getting caught in however this moon, it's like, advanced technology it's made out of crystals i don't know it's somehow creating a disruption it's creating a square wave it's like a lag it's parked in orbit out of phase it's 30 minutes behind the sun every day it's a little bit more behind it's just, it's a drag it's stealing the divine feminine it's dragging on the moon that's it's dragging on the queen that's why they're drag queens and michael jackson's doing his moonwalk because he's walking backwards into the moon it's sucking your soul that's what the moonwalk is all about drag queens the moonwalk all this like inverted square of your reality square calendar they squared your world the square more board hat they squared your time you know, your consciousness is locked to this square Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, we all have to live with this calendar. But anyways, I don't know. If you die, you become an etheric orb like that. And, and the moon will somehow it's pulling you in. They're showing you the Death Star has that tractor beam. It's a big dish on the side of it. They're telling you it's the, the moon is the Death Star and it has a tractor beam effect. Like it locks onto you magnetically. Mark Braun said it's the magnetic residue from all the iron in the food. So when you die, there's a magnetic iron residue and they lock onto you. It has, so it gives them some kind of a claw to grab you, the magnetic, and they pull you in like a tractor beam to this false light where whether they show you images and you're, you they fake family members and all this. They bind you into some. They, they somehow the polarity flips, or you your memories are erased. Is what's being said, and you and you you wind up being released. Like I don't know, maybe the light coming from the moon is the souls of the dead. Somebody said that once that it's the number of souls that died, and that it's a door that opens and closes and opens and closes, or something. That wave. It's not a sine wave you're born in this the original sin is s-i-n-e it's sign it's you were born in the original sine wave and the square waves like fucking everything up in here it's got the the divine feminine totally just it's on it's off it's on it's off and that's why the women they're on they're off they're on they're off and the men are like oh fuck i can't take it anymore <laughs> and they're so they're just yeah. Everything's all fucked up. The divine feminine's fucked up in this realm. Yeah. That's what seems to be going on. Anyways, I don't know. I think you need to live. Like, we have to be birthed out of here. You gotta hop in the hole while you're still alive. 
That's what Mark Braun said anyways. You need to be in the flesh when you drink from these living waters. When you go through the holy hole, you need to be alive. Like, it's like, I don't know, it's like the holy cum, right? The jizz. Like, it's like, well, you got to get go through the hole, like the sperm through the birthing canal, like, fuses to the egg. You got to get fused into your body above the waters. You need to attach to it, and you got to go through through the next door into the next the next firmament, the next realm, the next dimension. It's like, it's a birthing, birthed in, birthed out. That's my right. understandings of what blood over intent uh, means. Anyways, I don't, hopefully yeah. that clarifies what I believe. Right. That makes plenty of sense to me, man. I can definitely agree. Birth in, birth out, man. You feel one way in, another way out. Yeah, that makes sense. And every yeah. exit sign is telling you. But I'm every, not using everyone it, like, where the sperm going to the hole. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think you want to die. I think you want to, you want to have the angel of death pass you by. That's that's. It, he said there was a mention if if you do die if you do experience a physical death that you need to go towards the dark mm -hmm. yeah, I remember I that too the cosmos yeah. like if you don't get there in the flesh if you're not able to wake up and consciously like hike your ass to the North Pole if you can't figure out <laughs> how to like get there build a UFO get a boat or a helicopter or a plane or some hiking boots or a canoe or something like if you can't figure it out <laughs> Then, then you, then if you do die, uh, because you didn't get there, then, then you need, you could still maybe go there in the dark. But they're showing you, like when you're a ghost, when you're an orb, when you're, when you're, a, when you're in your spirit form, like not attached to the physical anymore. They show you everywhere. That's so difficult that there's some kind of, and like, like Beetlejuice. There's those that square snake. It's the snake or this wave coming for you, or in the Matrix, it's this, this something's coming for you man this this spirit <laughs> like this thing's coming <laughs> it's right. coming for you man it's the worst thing you don't want it to get you there's something when you're in the ghost realm that you and, and you're not attached to the physical so it's probably pretty hard to get around when there's it's this electrical grid iron or something it's the grid iron it's that wave you can't like you'll probably won't make it You'll get you'll get nabbed, man. You'll get caught in the light. You won't you won't be able to pull out unless you're like one of the strongest souls ever, because <laughs> we're all still here. We all came through this matrix in our last lives. You know, we went through the moon, past life regression. Just it showed we were, we've all been here. We're the ones that built those great buildings. Those, you know, we probably were the Tartarians. I believe it. That's, you know, we're, we're a soul, there's a soul group or something, then that's the 144,000. We're, uh, we've all been here before, rising to different heights in our, in our careers and our, you know, we're all strong leaders and, and have these amazing skills of knowledge and superpowers to, <laughs> to question reality. <laughs> But we never made it. They never gave. We were fighting a parasite that when they when that sky flooded, man. When they broke the firmament, like somebody said, it would have been like like a waterfall pouring out of the sky. Like, like if was, it just would have been so much water pouring down. Like you just would have been crushed. Put it in the trash. I don't know. That makes sense if there's a great big, the great rift in the firmament, like, I don't know if they shot it with a plasma cannon, or maybe when they cut the tree down, it fucked up all the water in here, and maybe the waters, of, like, we, their pressures changed, so maybe the ocean floor burst, maybe some water shot up, and something hit the firmament and cracked it from the inside. I, I don't know. I don't know what broke the firmament, but it appears that there is a major fracture in the sky it's called the great rift the milky way that will cause a flood that 
that that water poured in and it rained like a motherfucker mm. <laughs> and it just flooded this world and i don't know you can see the remains of these giant trees it's it, this like i don't know we've talked about that before like there's evidence of this massive tree network and it's gone and mount maru is said to be part of this it was the, it's the one at the center 30 30 something miles 30 miles in diameter or something like that yeah and that was yeah, cool. yeah. that green astral light used to go through the tree it was like the lifeblood that it was a crystalline tree and now it's shooting out of the hole it's the memory of the earth but it used to go through the crystal like the lifeblood of the tree and it would have radiated through these massive trees yeah. and, and so the memory would have like you know seeped in here a little bit differently than it is now i don't know cannot, through the crystal network it just this place would have been paradise it would have been everywhere you go would have just been you know mystical yeah i think it would have been like silicon silicon vegetation when the water trees. came yeah. Why, why, is it, why is through like this, this gate trees, exit the trees. earth? They were, they were, they were massive, man. They were our. This was our home. This was our, our paradise. This was our playground. We used to come here and, and play. This was our kingdom. We, you know, we went to the North Pole and drank from the living waters, and we came back. Like, if we have flying saucers that go a thousand miles an hour, like, you know what I mean? It's like just an afternoon trip to the Holy Grail whenever it was time to drink the living waters you just went there every couple years once a year hung out at the beach for a couple hours drank the living waters like then you come back and play that's what we built castles that lasted for thousands of years the remains of what's left of our buildings are here we all died they they fucked us up bad man like we have to admit we took a major loss these reptilians knocked us retarded they started a war with us, man, and they fucking knocked us like into a reincarnation loop and took us seven lifetimes. They had to us in fucking the... kick their ass, man, to come back and fuck them the fuck up. Like it took seven generations. It's like if I don't, you know, you kill me in this life, I will be back in the next lifetime and I will fuck you up for what you've done to my world. Yeah. Like I'm the Merlin of Avalon, I'm the Guardian of the Grail, and this is my fucking world. <laughs> That's right. And I'm pissed. So it's like, you know, we're the first generation to wake back up to this information since since they fucking murdered us all those all those years ago and, and, and we've just been going through lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of misery and agony and fighting and being lied to and, and just, you know, murdered for our knowledge and they knew we were great souls. They've been tracking us. They passed the secrets down and you know, they're still tracking us. Who do you think stopping Blood Over Intent from being published on YouTube? Mm -hmm. It's definitely been a hell of a journey. I never thought I would live. Yeah. I know, man. I just, I've been, I'm waiting for this for years. What do you do? Who do you tell anybody this to? You guys, I guess, right here, right now. I walk around my shop talking about it like I'm out of my freaking mind. You like, know. I can remember my past lives. I'm, like, programming my future life. Like, both at the same time. Lindsay got uh, knocked up by right. Satan, and they're not even in the same freaking state. They're different coasts. Coast to coast. How do you explain that? I gotta clean my phone. Yeah. I dropped it outside. In amazing times. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I think like we're going to live, right? Like this is a cause to live for. Like we're going to live for this cause. It's life. The book of life. Eternal life. <laughs> like forever. And that's a concept that's pretty overwhelming. Because it goes on and on and on and on. To some people, they think it's crazy to live forever because everyone's programmed to, to think they're going to die. So they can't comprehend but we have to get to the fountain of youth so we can restore our bodies. It's a youth and vitality. There's stem cell, blood red, rich waters. It's our birthright to drink these waters. And then we'll be healthy, nonstop. We'll just have that never-ending life. It's the fountain of youth. 